What's happening there, Reject Nation? We are going to watch today from our buddy, Warren over at the Cosmic Wonder. Thor, Love and Thunder, teaser trailer update, major news. Yes, saw going around that there was stuff going about toys revealed. Go to our expert, Warren, to break it all down for us. Hit that like button if you're here. Let's jump into it and see what he's got to say. So today's news is actually coming straight from Marvel. It's coming from Marvel's website, marvel.com, in which they have wow. revealed new huh. Lego sets to us that offer a Look lot of information about the movie. <laughs> now, Lego leaks are typically pretty common for Marvel movies. So it just kind of looks like Marvel is getting a jump on the gun here and posting it themselves before leaks actually come out, which is really smart on their part. And of course, we're yeah. not complaining yeah, because nowadays. we get a better look at the movie, and there are actually some pretty decent Ooh. reveals here. Now, these aren't actually all Lego. Some of them are Titan Hero series, and some of them are FX series. But all offer a much better look at the movie, including some character costumes and some new characters. But let's start with Thor's costume, because he has a brand new outfit, and it is really blue as you can see it is really really different than what we've seen oh, i love the it last thing yeah. we saw him i love was, it well sweatpants and a hoodie but before that in his fight with thanos he was pretty much wearing all black and a little bit of silver now his suit looks to be completely blue with gold on it and this is really yeah. cool because it Colors looks like lightning. phase four seems to be the phase of comic accurate costumes because yeah. this blue and gold suit really resembles the first thor costume ever designed by jack kirby it's an iconic look and it looks like we're finally Good getting call. that on the big screen well it's interesting too because you know we just had eternals this year they're gods and their own right they're not norse mythology god looking at his costume there actually it feels kind of reflective of what they did with some of the costumes in the eternals cast as well so it's pretty neat to see that kind of correlation and color scheme and pattern actually connect because mcu connects everything and then we get a look at jane foster's thor who is labeled mighty thor on oh, a cool. lot of these okay. toy sets that we'll talk about today now this is who she is in the comics in the mighty thor storyline when she picks up mjolnir she becomes the goddess of thunder the mighty thor so again sticking to comic accurate things here and i really really love it now her outfit isn't 100 percent comic accurate like when they first introduced the mighty thor but it looks actually pretty dang pretty good, good. It looks Close a little bit more modern which obviously of course in the mcu you could expect that and we actually get a much better look at both of these costume designs on some other toys that are released. We have it's Mjolnir, Mighty FX Mjolnir, and a Stormbreaker. On Stormbreaker, we get a better look at Thor's costume on the right there with official promo art that they're using. We can see this really okay. is blue yeah. and gold. It's got a ton of gold on it. And for Jane Foster's, we can get a better look at her suit here as well. It looks to be silver and like a reddish brownish color. But we get a pretty a good look at her helmet here, which is going to be awesome to see her wear. And we also see that Mjolnir is repaired, but it is still cracked. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of what I was first noticing too, is that Thor keeps Stormbreaker and maybe in the movie, I don't, I don't know what happens in the movie, I haven't even got a truth yet, <laughs> but, but maybe in the movie, somehow Mjolnir is called to her or she calls to Mjolnir and some oh, yeah. way like if we're going off of the comics if she is a character who's like you know suffering with cancer and somehow she's drawn to milner maybe that's like where some of the powers uh, source comes from i can absolutely see that you get like one with chris hemsworth with the stormbreaker and then one with jane foster with milner and it'd be pretty neat to have beginning you know, you got both thors yeah, yeah plus then you have weapons jealousy <laughs> yes <laughs> thor i mean that'd probably be a great comedy but it's like oh what you're worthy of, of, of this is my hammer milner will be rebuilt but it looks like it might have some flaws in it. Now, speaking of comic accuracy, the Mighty Thor is a story where Jane Foster does become Thor, but she has cancer. And ultimately, every time that she picks up the hammer and transforms into the Mighty Thor, her cancer gets worse. And we know, because mm -hmm. Taika Waititi has revealed this to us, that this is going to be somewhat of the same storyline we're going to get in Thor Love and Thunder. Jane Foster is going to have cancer. So I'm sure, much like in the comics in the MCU, becoming Thor might not be the best thing for her. So we'll have to see where the story goes. I think she'll live. I think they will find a way to put her in remission by the end of the film. Yeah. yeah. So she might keep selling them damn toys. Yeah. <laughs> you just got Natalie Portman back on board. Come on. Now, here's something that I am super excited about, and I think a lot of people are really going to love this. We have our first goat. Lego set reveal. <laughs> and Marvel.com right? is calling Not it the sure. Goat Boat, which is a Viking boat oh. that is actually pulled by two goats. Oh. And this is something that I am what? super excited to finally 
see Why the not? MCU. Thor's two goats. Tooth Nasher oh, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Tooth Grinder. Yeah, yeah. In the comics, Thor can summon both of these goats at will. He can also dismiss them at will, and they pull his mystical chariot. Of course, Thor can fly with his hammer, what? but Tooth Nasher and Tooth Grinder can travel anywhere within all of the realms. They Do also it. help Thor transport things because, yes, he can fly with his hammer, but he can't exactly carry a lot. But these aren't just your <laughs> average goats. They're the goats of goats. They actually have good lives. <laughs> One, they kind of eat everything, including people. They both possess super uh. strength and they can actually <laughs> damage Mjolnir. That's how strong they are. And like I mentioned, they can travel Worthy. through all of the realms at very high speeds and they can do this on land or simply through space. So yes, they can fly. And if we look at this picture of this Lego set, it does look like they are pulling this Viking ship through space. It actually looks like they are traveling through different nice. dimensions. <laughs> if you can see all of the lights behind the ship here, it definitely looks like it's space travel or it could could actually be dimension travel and since the multiverse is being introduced a it's like bifrost traveling yeah. Comes out yeah in doctor strange and the multiverse of madness multiversal bifrost neato i love it you know about them i mean I, a little bit from just you know vague amounts of research over the intervening months but yeah I mean, <laughs> okay. warren has probably explained the extent of what i can tell you yeah. i mean i got two thoughts here one i wonder if they'll talk in the movie and if taika waititi will get some comedic actors to fill in the role two if they kill off one of them damn goats i'm gonna be pissed off at this movie <laughs> they do it for some cheap dramatic effect to break the audience's heart. No. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Don't do it. It's cliche to no. kill off the animal. Classic like character. Keep them alive and get their own spinoff. <laughs> Goat holiday special. Disney Plus. And on the back of the boat here, we can actually see Thor fighting Gore. In this set, the characters that are included, as said on the box, are the Mighty Thor, which is Jane Foster. Thor, which is, you know, our normal Thor. King Valkyrie is what it says here, and of course she king is the Valkyrie. king of Asgard now. Not queen, but king. Korg, of course. So that with a slight tone in your voice for. You should probably apply, man. A god butcher. Now, what's really interesting about this is that if you look closely enough, we can see on the front of the ship it says Aegir Asgard Tours. Now, there's two parts to this that make it really, really interesting. One is the first Asgard part, Aegir. Tours? Now, this is probably the name of the boat. And it makes sense because in Marvel Comics, Aegir was the god of the seas. Pretty much like Neptune, except this is the Norse god, Aegir. So it would make sense that they named their ship after the god of the sea, but it also says Asgard Tours. Now, remember, Asgard is now on Earth. And people are aware of Asgardians because Thor is actually quite famous. We found this out during Thor Ragnarok in the beginning, where people came up to him and asked to take his picture. And they also knew that Thor and Jane broke up, so Thor is kind of hmm. celebrity. So it would make sense that people would actually go to Asgard to kind of be tourists there. And it looks like Asgard has kind of embraced it a little bit. After all, they're probably going to need a little bit of money at least. So that would probably be a pretty decent way of making money, giving tours. I feel like I just put together a little plot theory in my head. Not like a major plot theory, just kind of a setup. If people are visiting there, I imagine Jane will get diagnosed with cancer and then she'll want to go visit Thor, maybe say her goodbyes or something like that. Uh -huh. While Thor is off with the Guardians and left off at the end of Endgame, she goes to visit new Asgard and that's when Thor returns back. Ooh. That's about it. I don't really have like some mind-blowing revelation theory. Nah, it's more it's like, like hey, what's the setup to this? Jane's already connected with King Valkyrie and you yeah. know, started to unravel her situation and then Thor gets back and then Valkyrie will advocate for Jane. There you go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nothing special. We'll see. See what the trailer does. <laughs> this also means that the trailer shouldn't be that far away. Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness comes out a month before Thor Love and Thunder. And they gave us a the month? teaser trailer for the Multiverse <laughs> Madness about five Everything months feels so much further away than it actually is. And that is kind of where we're at right now with Thor Love and Thunder. We're about five months away because it comes out July 8th of 2022. So we're actually less than five months away from the release of Thor Love and Thunder. Now, if you combine wow. that fact with the fact that Marvel is now officially releasing things like this, toys, Legos, mm -hmm. official art for the movie. This means that promotion for Love and Thunder is about to ramp up. This is an extremely good sign that they're getting ready to release that trailer. Promotions are beginning to start and we have less than five months until the movie comes out. So I would expect the first teaser trailer relatively soon. If Marvel sticks to the same thing they've been doing, we hopefully get it within a month. But as always, the if day I the Batman comes out. That first <laughs> teaser trailer, I'll of course do a video on it, letting everybody know. Better. Well, that was 
some good shit, man. I feel like I learned quite a bit there. Yeah. Goats. 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 I've been so goats. excited to see some damn goats in my life. <laughs> Guys, subscribe to Warden if you haven't done so already. We're going to do our best to be on top of whenever this Thor Love and Thunder trailer comes out. That means a lot of waking up needlessly at six in the morning to go not out and then going back to bed and then finding out it dropped at the moment after I went to sleep. That's the life of the real rejects. Woo! Simple but complicated. <laughs> Guys, leave your thoughts down below. We'll talk with you soon.